In this video, we're gonna go over LinkedIn Thought Leader ads. I'm first gonna show you some examples, then I'm gonna go through a strategy framework, and then show you how to add these to campaigns within the LinkedIn Campaign Manager. My name's Mitchell Gould. I run LinkedIn ads and Google ads for B2B tech and SaaS companies. So if you're interested in LinkedIn ads or Google ads or B2B marketing, make sure to subscribe to my channel. So let's jump right into it. So first, here's an example of what a thought leader ad looks like from my organic post here. The only difference is there's this tagline that says promoted by company. Other than that, it looks just like a regular organic post. So uh, most people don't see this and there's a lot of benefits for this ad format. First, I will show you how you can see other advertisers ads in the LinkedIn ads library. So if you go to linkedin.com slash ad dash library, you can search competitor or a keyword. And in this case, I searched the company RB2B. And if you see the profile picture of a person in the ad here, that means it's a thought leader ad. So you can get some inspiration and see how other companies are approaching this. There's a lot of expert advice here, some case study results, which is really good. And another interesting thing and a cool thing about this ad format is that you can promote first and second connections post. So you can see that um, Pradeep here talked about our B2B in this flow and the results they got and he posted that organically. And then you can see our B2B promoted this post. So that's great third party validation, someone outside your organization talking about your company. Um, and then promoting that in front of your target audience. So if you scroll down, you can see they promote a lot of um, thought leader ads, RB2B here. And you can see another example promoted by RB2B um, from someone who uh, doesn't work at RB2B. So pretty cool stuff there. Just to go over some of the benefits of this ad format is, one, obviously it doesn't look like an ad which is really helpful for people stopping in the feed. People want to interact with uh, personal profiles more than ads or posts coming from a company page. There's also the built-in social proof with the reactions that you get on your organic posts and comments. So that can help if you have a lot of uh, reactions and social proof there. People oftentimes are more likely to, to stop the scroll and check out the post. And you can validate your content before putting ad spin behind it. So if you have a post that's really relevant to your target audience and it does well, then it's a really high likelihood that it's gonna perform well when you put ad spin behind it and target your audience. They have really high engagement rates. I'll show you some examples of uh, from my clients. You can build a retargeting audience really fast with these ads because uh, you can retarget based off of the percentage of a video someone watched or uh, the engagement on the ad if it's a text, ad, a text post or an image post. So you can build retargeting audiences off of that. And it, since these get a lot of good engagement, you can build that retargeting audience faster. Like I mentioned, you can promote posts to first or second degree connections. And you can also edit the post and add a CTA in a URL. So there are no CTAs or buttons with this format. So if you do want a call to action in there, you can add a URL. You can go back into your organic post, edit it, add that call to action within there, and you can drive landing page clicks. Uh, those are all the benefits that come with this ad format. Some quick examples, just so you can see the metrics here. This is at the campaign level here. So engagement rates are very high when you compare this to other ad formats like an image ad or a video ad from a company page. The click-through rates are very high. The landing page click-through rates can be very good too. This is a consolidated view. So this is a view by just a, a small sample size, but some examples for almost a 4% landing page click-through rate, which is really good. So people are engaging with the posts and then also clicking the link within the posts if you do add it. So just some examples there of what the, the metrics look like. Again, really good engagement on this style of post. And then just going into some quick technical things. So if you posted organically an image, a video or text, post, 
as well as a, a post, article post or a newsletter post, you can promote those through the Thought Leader ad format. The only types of posts that you can't promote are uh, documents. So if you have like a PDF swipe file that you uploaded, you can't promote that or reshare posts, polls, or any of the other ad formats. It's just these available formats, post formats that you can promote. And then there are eight campaign objectives in the LinkedIn campaign manager, but there are only two campaign objectives that allow the thought leader ad format. So you have to choose between engagement, which is going to optimize for and charge you per engagement. So any type of click on the post and then brand awareness, which is going to charge you for reach and impressions. I typically start with engagement. You can test between the two, depending if you're running videos or single image and see what performs best. But I like to start with engagement and then just going over a real high level strategy of how you can use the thought leader ad is I like it for a initial touch point with your audience. So you can use middle of funnel or bottom of funnel post type of content. So any expert advice, any pain point oriented style of uh, post that addresses your ICP's pain points uh, are really great case studies, any results you got for clients, your customers. And then if you show that in front of your prospects, that looks really good. So I like to promote posts around those themes. And then as we're promoting those posts, we're building retargeting audiences for anyone who engages with that content or visits a website. And then we're retargeting those users with other valuable touch points to build trust and credibility. So we'll continue to put middle of funnel, bottom of funnel, thought leader ads in front of them, as well as starting to introduce some other ad formats like text ads, spotlight ads, image ads, document ads. And then as we continue to nurture those people and retargeting, we'll test some direct response style ads. So a conversion focus ad using Legion forms with the conversation ad or image ad format. You can also do other ad formats, but we're trying to get people to take a specific action, fill out a form, book a demo, book a discovery call, an audit, whatever your offer is. So that's a simple three step like process on how you can approach this. The main thing here is that you want to promote posts that are very relevant to the pain points you solve for prospects as a good first touch point in front of them and then continue just to build that trust and expertise with them by promoting other middle of funnel, bottom of funnel style post. And just a note, I am offering a new service where I'll help you create LinkedIn video content and then distribute it through thought leader ads to your ideal customers. So I take care of the whole process for you. If you're interested in that, you can check out the link in the description. So now I'm going to show you how to add this format into campaign manager. So we're going to go into campaign manager. And if you haven't created an account already, you can go into your LinkedIn profile and at the top, click for business and click advertise on LinkedIn. You'll go through a couple of steps and then you'll land on a page like this. So on the left hand side, this is where you can navigate through campaign manager. If you go into the account settings section, you can add your billing details like your business address and credit card. And if you click edit account, you can associate a company page to your ad account. In the measurement section, you can get the LinkedIn insight tag and add that to your website and set up conversion tracking. I have other videos on this that I'll add to the description. But the main thing is we're going to go into the advertise section and we're going to create a new campaign and we're going to go ahead and click uh, engagement. And first we have to set up a campaign group. That's just the bucket that our campaign will sit in. It's mainly for organization purposes. So we'll call this cold prospecting. And then where it says group objective, I actually want the objective set at the campaign level. So I'm going to turn that off for campaign group details. And then I'm going to click next. Now we're in our campaign settings, so you can give your campaign a name. And again, there are two objectives that we can select from. So there's the awareness objective and engagement objective that we can use for this ad format. I'm going to select engagement. The audience section is where you'll set up your audience. I have videos on how to create uh, audiences and all the options that I'll link above. After you set up your audience, you want to make sure you turn off enable audience expansion and then you're going to select your ad format. So if you're going to promote a text based post or an image post, you're going to select single image. If you're going to promote a video, you'll select video. 
And if you're going to promote uh, or article post or a newsletter post, then you'll select that. So in this example, I'm going to promote just a text-based post. So I'll select single image. The URL tracking section, this is where you can add UTM sources or different parameters to pass into your CRM or to get additional data in third-party sites like Google Analytics, GA4. I have a full video on that if you're interested in setting that up, but that's optional, so we'll go ahead and skip that for now. In the placement section, we're gonna turn off LinkedIn Audience Network. I always recommend you keep that off. That will allow LinkedIn to show your ads on third-party website and mobile apps that don't perform well. And we only want these ads to be showing in our LinkedIn feed. So we'll keep that off. We'll set our budget to $10 per day. That's a minimum budget that you can set on LinkedIn ads. And then for bidding, we're gonna change from the automated bid strategies to manual bidding because we can get uh, better cost per results. We'll turn off this enable bid adjustments for high value clicks. You can see the range of suggested bids. We're gonna go a bit lower than that. And then each day, we're gonna keep an eye on if we're spending our full daily budget. If we're not, we'll incrementally increase this. And if we're spending slightly over our daily budget, we'll decrease this bid. And that's gonna allow you to get the most efficient cost per result. Then we have the conversion tracking section. You can select a conversion action if you already set that up. I have some videos on that that I'll link in the description as well. Then we'll click next and we'll save our campaign settings. Now this is where you set up your thought leader ads. So instead of creating a new ad, we're gonna browse existing content and then we're gonna go to LinkedIn members. You can either search for the person's name or paste in the post URL. So if I search for my name here, you'll see I pop up and I click on it. So you'll see my text-based post and my image post here that are available to select from. I can also go into my profile and say, look for a post that I wanna promote. And I can click the three dots here and I can click copy a link to post. And then I can go back into campaign manager and I can paste in that URL. And then I can select that URL and then I can add it to my campaign. So I'm already approved to promote my post from this account. If it's your first time, you will have to request approval. And if you're doing this for a first or second degree connection and you wanna promote one of their organic posts, you will have to request approval. So you'll just click a button here that will send that person a notification. You can also copy the request uh, URL and you can send that to the person and ask them to approve it. And they can turn on auto approval so if you're doing this for like your CEO, they can just turn on auto approval and you don't have to ask them each time you wanna promote something. So I selected this post here and we'll click add to campaign. So that added our post to our campaign. You can add in additional posts and then you can click next. And this is where you're gonna review your campaign group and campaign settings. So just double check everything looks correct. We have the audience network disabled. We have audience expansion disabled. Uh, review your post. Then you can click launch campaign and then we'll click view campaigns. So now our campaign is active and we have our thought leader ads running. If you're interested in all the targeting options and how to create retargeting audiences in LinkedIn, you can check out this video next.